Good morning from Joshua Tree. The uh, Buses by the Bridge crew is slow to get up today because it is raining. It's kind of miserable out. It's kind of a terrible day to be in Joshua Tree, unfortunately. But um, it's a good day for me to do some repairs and get the day started. For some reason, I always feel very productive when it's raining. Like I'm stuck inside, so I better make the best of it. And uh, started off with gluing this guy back on. And I'm using, because I'm out of all my super glue, I'm going to try out this uh, plumber's grade a yellow ABS. Um, I'm using that also on uh, another cupboard I have to fix, and I'm using it on my tripod. Because a little while ago, remember I was telling you I dropped my brand new camera? Yeah, that was fun. Anyway, now my tripod is more of a light stand, so I'm going to glue the head back on and hopefully I get some sort of performance out of it. We'll see. Be nice to have a tripod again. <laughs> that part of the story. All right, I'm gonna introduce. Uh, this is Julien Cote. Runs Govan, it's a really Hello. popular Instagram and website. So uh, I'll include links to that in the description. You gotta check that out. Please do. Watch super, the super awesome production value. Basically, pe people often say I have good production value. But you take it to we a do. whole nother level though. With your stuff, it's crazy. Working with thousand people, so. Yeah. Sure. yeah. He's a big facilitator organizer and you're running this event. This is kind of like giving some people a taste of the it's Volkswagen a, van life a yeah. little bit. Glamping of the van life kind yeah, of. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so uh, yeah, check out his stuff. And uh, if you're looking into this kind of lifestyle, you want to try it out, especially in the most luxurious vans, uh, the classic V-dub buses. This is the guy for it reach out. All right, progress report. It seemed to do the trick on these guys. Cabinets are really good. This one here I had to fix up. I think I lost a piece of wood somewhere along the way, but it seemed to do the trick. PVC stuff, nice and strong there. Um, not so good on the tripod. It's still kind of wobbly. I think I put too much glue in there, so I'm just gonna let it settle and see if it actually cures. Uh, and I won't rely on it too heavily. Uh, I'm just gonna be very careful with it and see what happens The last thing I need to do is break another camera So we're gonna just pack up right now and we're heading out of Joshua Tree without really seeing too much of it which sucks But what are you gonna do rain right? At least I was here last year and I got to hike some of it so on the road here we go stop for this morning is the famous Roy's Motel and Cafe on Route 66 because it's really not glamping until you're checking out spots on Route 66. Oh. We're just stopping here for a few minutes to make some lunch and chill out before we get to Lake Havasu later on today. I'm actually gonna part ways with them for a bit because uh, I need to spend some quality time in a Starbucks for a few just because I am so behind on uploading my episodes and I want to see if I can track down a decent oil change that's not too expensive. Uh, yeah, I don't do my own oil changes, um, not because I can't, but because 
I have no way of disposing of the oil in a uniform way or that like it's easy. Um, when it's just my motorcycle, I can like use some of the old oil to like lubricate things on my bicycle, for instance, stuff like that. Um, and then I, I put the other oil, I'll, I'll go into like uh, an auto shop and they'll usually just throw it in with their rest of the recycled oil and they don't mind. So, but when it comes to doing the van, I, I just pay somebody to do it. It's a little bit easier. I know it's a cop out, but uh, I might be doing my own if I can't find one that's decently affordable. <laughs> Let's see. Hey, Lake Havasu next stop. Yeah. yeah. Busted by the bridge, this is Pedro here. Hey Pedro. He's a junior uh, facilitator. Senior facilitator is right there. This is uh, Julien. Met him yesterday. And uh, yeah, they're making me camp over on the other side because I have a Dodge and I'm not cool enough to hang with these kids. That's embarrassing. <laughs> but uh, joke's on them because uh, tomorrow morning when we start up our vehicles, uh, mine will actually start and I will get out of here and I will get way ahead of them. And that will make everything okay. We're having some dinner. Maybe. Chef Julien has been cooking up. We're sitting around the campfire. Just enjoying the night. Just a nice, relaxing night. What does it look like? Does it taste good? Ooh. You, a lot of people watch my channel just for the food, eh? So you have some uh, big shoes to fill. I just want to let you know. It's nice not cooking, though. It really is. <laughs> 